Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Jason and today I'm going to build a simple counter using React. So I figured this will be a good project to kind of get your feet wet with React. And uh, what I'm using for this is, uh, to build this I'm using Repl.it. And it's pretty cool because you can uh, you can actually use different like framework setups. So right now I'm using React, so they have this React uh, setup where you can just you know choose React and it'll give you like the all the setup you need without having to you know uh, npm install any like tooling or anything like that. So it's pretty cool to just follow along with someone that you see and get everything set up real quick. So yep, so let's get into it. All right, so basically I'm just gonna have one component here. It's gonna be app, and I'm gonna do my constructor in there. I will pass in props, and then I'll do a super pass props. And in here, this is where I'll initialize my uh, state. So what I'll do is I'll do this dot state equals, and uh, for my counter, uh, project basically the state that I'm gonna hold is just gonna be the the count that it has so I'll just do count and I'll set it to zero all right cool so that's pretty much all we need there and now I will let's see if I get an error here this does state equals oh sorry don't need that okay so now I'll build out the UI so what I'll need to do is so what I want is basically just two buttons so I'll do some buttons here. Okay, I'll give this a class name of counter. And I already made some uh, styles. I already added some styles to this, uh, so that's why it looks this way. And then I'll do plus and minus. Whoops. All right, cool. And so now I'm going to make a uh, h2 tag to output the current count that we have. So all I'll do is do h2 and then I will and since I'm gonna use some JavaScript here I need to do some curly braces and that way I can add uh, that way I can utilize the JavaScript that I need so in this case I will need to do this dot state dot count which will give me the initial count, which is zero. All right, cool. And now I'll need to do the uh, functionality to actually increment and decrement uh, the counter. So I will create a method called increment. And there we go. And now this is where I will, let's see, oops, sorry. All right, cool. All right, so now I will do the, uh, so now I'll need to update the state. So every time someone clicks this button, I will run this increment fu function, and then the state should be updated. And so for that, all I need to do is call this dot set state, and then I can pass in count, and then from here I can do this dot state dot count plus one and so the reason we're doing this dot state is because we don't actually want to uh, mutate the state the original state directly so we always want to create a new uh, basically we want to create a new object so create a new state and so that's why we're using this dot this dot set state instead of doing this dot state equal to count whatever so yep so that's the reason why we're doing that we don't want to uh, directly mutate the state and then okay so we got that and so now in our button uh, tag here we want to do a on click and so this is basically just a attribute that we can use for when someone clicks on the button. And in there we want to call our, we want to add in our increment method. So we'll do this dot increment. And I believe that's all you need to do. So every time someone clicks 
on this button, we'll call this increment method, which will set the state, uh, meaning that it'll add a one to the counter. So let's test this out. Awesome, so it looks like that works. <clears throat> so let's just add in our other method real quick. So we'll do decrement and then we'll do minus one. And now we will do the same thing here. So we'll do a on click this dot decrement. So if we add one, all right, so that works. And we want to decrement, and that also works. Awesome. And so that's basically a all you need to do to make a counter using React. Uh, I went kind of quickly. I went through it pretty quickly. Um, so if you guys would prefer me to go slower and explain uh, some concepts as I go along, I just wanted to build something really quick and just kind of show you how it's done for someone that maybe is having trouble learning React. Uh, so yep, yeah, so that's that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, uh, please subscribe. All right, well, have a good day. See you.